Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Stormworks. We are once again working on our lifting body, a wax tanker, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you guys can see I got the MFDs done. So I'm just going to cycle through some of the screens here. And that means that we are getting pretty close to the end of this project. We, uh, in the last episode I mentioned, we kind of got to start doing some of the interior up a little bit. So we're going to be doing that today. A little bit more block placing. So uh, probably will be a little bit more fun of an episode for you guys. But right now I am just going to kind of take this guy on a test flight. And uh, you guys can kind of see how it's performing and whatnot. But yeah, later on we're going to start doing a little bit of a passenger uh, area. So lots of seats, that kind of thing. And uh, we'll try to start adding some equipment to the, the plane and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we're just headed down the taxiway right now. I am showing you guys how easy it is to taxi this thing around. We do have the steerable front gear. So that makes everything much, much easier. And uh, you know, it is a VTOL, but you can take it off in normal flight mode. So we're gonna give that a shot right now. We're just going to try to line up on our center line and then we'll punch the throttle forward and we'll head into the air. So this is looking like a pretty good lineup here and we will go ahead and switch the view real quick and I'll show you guys the uh, some of the screens that I've worked on. We're going to flip some of our lights on and we will give it a little bit of altitude here so we don't have to fiddle with that once we get in the air. And I'm also going to just kind of get a a GPS waypoint so we can stick the uh, autopilot on once we get in the air that's all set to go probably should have done this before I got on the runway but we are going to switch through our MFDs you can see our target is there on our map screen and this is just kind of like a main info screen you guys can see it's got landing gear and our flight mode and a couple other things like our throttle and whatnot so we got our landing gear up I'm gonna flick on our altitude hold and our autopilot and the plane should be flying itself right now. So we're just headed over to the other runway. And uh, that is pretty much all of the systems in the cockpit at this point. So starting to look pretty good. We got to do some more detailing, like I said. And real quick, we are just going to head over there and then we'll get into the building. So if you guys like this series, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll get this on the workshop in a couple of weeks, probably a week or two. Um, I don't know. I'll make an announcement when I do for you guys. And uh, we don't have too much building left to do on this. So I'm just going to head back here. We've got to do a little bit more button work, instrument work on this guy just because he's going to control all the hard points and whatnot. And uh, we're going to add a viewing scope. So this, this missile is going to go into a viewing scope. But other than that, there's not really too much logic to do. I do have to fix that annoying connector noise that keeps uh, jumping around. Uh, that's something I've battled this plane from the beginning, so I will do my best to get rid of that. But uh, sometimes the shakiness of the plane just doesn't play well with that. Well, enough of that. You guys can see I did a little bit of work on these missiles. They have a pretty good range. I doubled their range actually from this scene. So they have about an 18 kilometer range now and uh, with the viewing scope. And I did a little bit of work with the steering. It makes it so much easier to fly. And you guys can see our plane crashed. And that is because our altitude was too low. So that is my bad. The cockpit is a, a good amount of fun when you crash because of all the things flying around. Um, but yeah, I guess that, that's gonna cut our, our flight short and we are gonna get into the building.
right, well, I spammed all of those and we are good. Looks like I'm gonna have to remove the logic from those seats. So those seats are not for mine. I got them from an, an XML pack and normally I would try to uh, do something like that myself, but um, you know, I started XMLing a seat and then I saw those seats and I thought they looked really, really good. So I decided, you know, we'll just use those. And uh, if you guys want a link to that, let me know and I can give you guys a link to that, but it is just in a workshop item called XML equipment pack. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice and they fit pretty well. They're nice and compact two by two seats so we can get a lot of seats in there. And that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted this thing to have some some crew space. Um, you know, it's not absolutely nece a necessary part of the plane, but given we have this kind of upper platform where cargo isn't going to be easily moved up here, um, we might as well add a bunch of crew space. The other thing I want to do is I want to get at least one medical bed in here. And then we also got to have to figure out some parachutes. So, um, kind of a lot of seats here. I don't know. We're probably not going to get parachutes for every single seat on the plane, but, uh, that's okay. I, uh, just want to get a few in and you know, the rest can kind of fend for themselves, I guess, <laughs> which, um, not my problem guys, but yeah, the, uh, the crew section is going to be pretty basic. Just a bunch of seats. We're going to add some overhead, um, stuff just kind of like, uh, you know, you would see in, in a passenger airline, like, you know, some vents and lights and whatnot, but other than that, it's going to kind of just be a seating area. There's going to be some equipment towards the back. That's also right behind these seats is also where we, we are going to put the medical bed. So um, you guys can do, you know, submissions with this vehicle if you want. I, I wanted to, you know, have a little bit more um, use out of this just because we have the space and I didn't really know what else to put in this, it, this little area. So um, I played around with putting parachutes right here in the back, but you guys will see we're going to put them somewhere else. And I just kind of thought it looked a little goofy right here. So um, we'll change that to a medical bed and I will put the parachutes over by the side doors actually. But right now I am just going to start working on kind of an overhead compartment for the time being. I also played around with putting some parachutes right above the seats like this, but I decided I'd rather have like the vents and the lights and whatnot. And so um, once again, we moved that, but the, uh, the crew space isn't too deep isn't too detailed. We're not going to go crazy with it. They do have that green stripe on the ground we worked on and that will turn on when you turn on um, basically like the emergency power mode in the plane. So up in the cockpit, I added a few buttons overhead. There's a key that turns on the emergency power and then that opens a lockable button to a bunch of parachutes that will open and kind of hopefully ease your fall if you're uh, going to crash the plane. So um, just kind of uh, a little bit of an emergency mode like you would see on a lot of boats and whatnot. But that's also what the uh, the, the light right in the middle of this room you see is the, the rot rotating spotlight that is hooked up to that too. So that'll start turning on and spinning around once you turn on the emergency power and whatnot. But enough of that still kind of yapping on about we're just doing a lot of block placing in this episode and uh you know a lot of it is just kind of playing around with shapes and seeing what i think looks good and i like and in that kind of thing so um a lot of it's just kind of trial and error and i go back to this parachute problem i i'm really tried to make it so there was parachutes for everybody on board but it's just not really with this many seats, it's not really feasible. And I, I mean, it is, I could put them in the floors and whatnot, but I just, I don't want to have just parachutes sticking around everywhere in the, in the cabin. And, uh, for that reason, you know, I kind of decided, I think we end up with eight parachutes, which is still plenty. I, uh, I can't imagine, you know, you guys are going to have more than eight people in this plane anyways. And if they are NPCs, it's, it's not like, uh, you know, it's not like they're going to necessarily know to grab them and use them and whatnot. So, um, it'll kind of be a hassle if you're transporting a lot of NPCs. Plus you have that emergency mode that can, uh, turn on the parachute for the plane. So if you, if you really know you're going to crash, um, you can just use that and it will hopefully keep everybody alive. Plus we're going to have this medical bed and I'm going to add a bunch of med kits and a defibrillator and all that kind of good stuff too. So you can hopefully keep, keep some people alive if you do need it. And, uh, you know, if you need to pick somebody up in a battlefield and kind of give them some, some first aid and whatnot, that's kind of what this is for. So.
So we got our medical bed in. I uh, painstakingly hooked up all of those overhead lights so you guys can have uh, a nice little reading light if you're sitting down in the passenger section. Now the only other big thing I wanted to add to the interior is I wanted to add some sort of weapons locker. And that's right here is about where that's going to go. Um, so once again, I'm playing around with parachute placement and that just doesn't look good. So um, these are not going to stay there as usual. But right there, I'm going to put a little... Uh, little locker filled with guns and whatnot it's gonna have a keypad on it so it's it's locked up but um, i figured that would be a nice little addition to this plane especially since it's kind of a uh, military plane and you might have troops jumping out of parachutes and whatnot um, so we're just gonna put a couple rifles in there and some ammo and we'll just make it like a nice little lock box so there's gonna be a door on the top that opens and that way they're not just out and about but you do you do have access to them um, i'm not going to hide the password or anything like that it's just going to be on the keypad so if you guys need to get into it just click on the keypad it'll show you the password but yeah that's just uh kind of one of the last things i wanted to do and i think this is a pretty good spot for it anyways just because there's uh not a whole lot going on there and it's pretty unlikely that you're going to be shoving cargo that far up in the cargo bay the other things that we'll need to do kind of later on is I want to get some um, lighting in here. So I want to get some daytime lighting and nighttime lighting in the cargo bay, obviously. And I'm really happy with that, how, how that turned out, but we don't do that in this episode. So you guys will see that a little bit later on. But for the time being, I am just kind of trying to uh, put these rifles in a location that kind of makes sense. And I'm trying to maximize the space inside of this thing. So we do have that little weird corner wedge that's in the way of the rifles. So we can't do this all the way around. But, um, you know, I'm going to add a little, a little ammo and that kind of thing to this. So the big thing was I wanted to make, make sure that you couldn't just grab the equipment from the outside. So that's kind of why I'm putting those glass blocks there um, to make sure that you can't just, uh, you know, grab a rifle or some ammo from outside of the box without unlocking it. And then down here on the bottom, we just have some other stuff that doesn't necessarily need to be locked up, like transponders and radios and that kind of good stuff. All right, well, we got this uh, front section looking pretty good, and we are finally going to get these parachutes in. So this is by the door, kind of where I was talking about, and I figured we could just kind of stagger them like this, and I think it looks pretty good. So we are going to leave the parachutes right there for the time being, 
and uh, we'll add a couple more. I think I added a few into the cockpit too, but uh, yeah, that's uh, more or less the building that we're going to get done in this episode. So um, a lot of block placement. I know kind of a lot of time lapses in this one, but um, you know, we're getting close to the end. So the last kind of 10%, I always say takes 90% of the time. And that's why I encourage you guys to be patient with your builds. But uh, anyways, that is all we have in store for today's episode. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and I will catch you guys in the next one. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.